Tis the season for the long winter's nap. But it turns out that what most of us know about hibernation isn't the entire story. Seasonal science brings you hibernation myths. Myth number one, hibernation lasts all winter. Lights out from November until March isn't really how it works. Hibernation is a form of torpor, the lowering of metabolism, respiration, heart rate, temperature, that animals use to conserve energy. But there are different types of torpor. Multi-day torpor, what most of us think of as hibernation, is when animals spend days, weeks, or even months in a lower metabolic state. And daily torpor is when animals lower their metabolism for a couple hours a day to conserve energy, a little metabolic siesta, if you will. Olé. So really, depending on the species, torpor can last from a couple of hours to a couple of months. Myth number two, torpor is for the bears. Yes, bears do spend the winter in torpor, but they're not the only ones. Torpor is used across the entire animal kingdom as a strategy to conserve energy. From birds to mammals, like bats and primates, to frogs to fish to insects. Yes, bears included. And last but not least, animals torpor in cold, snowy weather. Yes, the bears and badgers and squirrels all display torpor during their snowy winters, but it isn't just restricted to the winter wonderlands. Lots of tropical animals will sit out their winters too, when food and water is scarce. In fact, torpor is used by animals on every continent, from penguin chicks in Antarctica to lemurs in the tropical rainforests of Madagascar. So as winter comes to a close and Puxatani Phil comes out of hibernation to see his shadow, huh? you might want to cross-reference with the lemurs of Madagascar before you put away that winter coat. Huh.